Andrew McCart, IFL TV, in association with MTK Global. I'm here in Belfast, ahead of the huge show on Saturday night, the Fela Festival. With me, I've got well, but West Belfast's own Sean McComb. I was speaking to Paddy Barnes, like, literally, this event, you could jump your back garden fence and uh, you're there, really, ain't you? So, yeah. what does this mean to you? It's massive for me, like, it's massive. It's massive alone for people of West Belfast, uh, in particular. Um, it's a massive, massive event. I guess time last year, I was at this event watching the Wolf Tones, 10,000 people there, mm -hmm. and never in a million years would I have thought that this time a year on that I would be part of it and fight in front of 10,000 people. So it's a massive opportunity and a massive platform to be on, and just powerful for the people of West Belfast. You're fighting uh, Greedo. I mean, we all know what Greedo's like. Uh, he, like the pre Alex Stephen mentioned at the press conference, he's, he's a character like yeah. you. I mean, it's just too crazy guys it's a shame he wasn't at the press conference because it would have been fun with the head to head with you and him so yeah. uh, what kind of fight are you expecting in the build up with Guido? he's a bit of a head case that's that's good he brings that's entertainment he brings entertainment till uh he brings entertainment to the table and it's it's good that he does he dress up as cartoon characters runs a bit like a lunatic but then again so do i mm -hmm. now i know what i mean so it's probably going to be a bit of a clash but i'll enjoy it i'll enjoy the way in tomorrow i'll enjoy the fight the build up and uh and I'm going to enjoy sharing the ring with him. I believe I'm just too much for him. Um, he's tough and durable, and and I believe that's it. That's it, really. Like boxing skill, zero. We spoke about this number on, on a number of occasions that you've not been. You, you turned pro in August last year, yeah. and but just in August now, yeah. you're seven and all. It's going to be all going well Saturday, eight and all. Yeah. You're being fast tracked. Uh, what kind of Greedo's a tough test. Is that that's exactly what it is. It's a tough test. But what 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 are you hoping for in your next fight? Like, are you hoping for an even bigger test? Because you're moving on fast and yeah. Do you know what I mean? And, and oh, do you like that? Do you want that? That's what I want. Like, that's yeah. what well, that's is it. This is boxing. This isn't. No one's fucking dicking dick around people. What's the point? Mm -hmm. Like I'm not. A, who? What do I get out of walking in and see? Like walking around town, people. I beat him up. Beat this up. Beat that up. Journeyman. Who knows who the fuck's that? No one knows who it is. That's what you don't make a name of it. Like Paddy Barnes said it. Paddy Barnes said it in the press conference. Or he's five and two, but he fought a world champion in his fifth and fight. A really Do you know what I mean? And he fought a bantamweight in New York, who had a cracking record. And uh, and that fella had a draw against the world title challenger. So, like, that's what Paddy wanted to do. He didn't want to fight like the kids. He just pulled off the street, mm -hmm. journeyman. And that's the same as me. We have the same mentality. Um, we're not in this game to avoid anyone. We're in this game to, to make a name of ourselves and and potentially beat all the top names out there and that's exactly the way I want to go about my business league. MTK have come out and they've a couple of days ago referenced this tournament, this golden contract yeah. tournament. 140 pound division is in it, it's your division. Yeah. Uh, anyone spoke to you about it? Have you spoke to anyone about spoke it? it. Um, me and Danny had a, a brief chat about it. I was all for it, right up, right up my street. Um, but there is, Danny has three 140 fighters in his gym, me, Sam Tyrone Maxwell. and Sam mm -hmm. Maxwell. Um, Danny was offered for one of us to take a slot, but when you look over the career of us all, I think me personally, I think it's best to take the slot through McKenna or Sam. I, I, they I, I, was, a bit further on. I was all buzzing for it, but them, Dave, like they, like Sam Maxwell turned pro at the end of 2014. Troy McKenna's been pro from 2012 or so in America and stuff, so this is only my first year. I'm still claiming the ladder. And they're, they're, they're they're season pro, so yeah. yeah, but I, I still believe I'm capable of winning the tournament, 100. percent When I, I looked at the, some of the names that they were mentioning of getting into the the tournament, but um, I took a back a back step and just let the two lads battle it out. Danny to say to I'm not sure if it's announced yet. Is it announced? No, it's not been announced. No, it's not announced. So yeah. Danny, Danny can deal with them with whatever he wants, but. Um, me personally, it was, it was better I just take a step away and, and progress on with my career. And who knows, maybe the winner of it, I'll fight them as a year, a year from now for a, a world title. Whatever it is, put the con devils up and let's get it on. <laughs> Who's this young man here? This is Cormac, that's my nephew. He's a boxer, nephew. Yeah, boxer, let me see. He's look, boxing the Hook City, that's where. Holy Trinity Boxing Club. Started my career and started boxing with me on my career. That's where I started boxing. Well. Like, so, plenty of titles. Come in, come on closer. Plenty of titles in that gym. So you're gonna follow in your just had to put a bit of work footsteps. on this the next couple of next couple of months. Gonna be a new season here in September, October. Put a wee bit of work on we're gonna get a chance. And uh but he's getting better, he's, he's progressing and he's starting to take it a bit more serious than he always normally did. You gonna um, become an Irish champion? That's the plan, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Like this year. This year. Same with me, I like, 
I did my first size tail until I was 15. So I mean, it's very hard. And competition mm. here is crazy because there's kids out there boxing from their four, five, six in the south of Ireland. It's crazy, like young traveller kids mm -hmm. boxing from their new age. So it's very competitive at that age. But it's, it's a big achievement when an Irish title is massive. Yeah, massive. So hopefully, it's his dad won the Irish titles, five or six Irish titles. I've won all Irish titles. His uncle Liam has won all Irish titles. So be good to, to get him on, on for an Irish title in the next couple of years. It's got to be worth for me. Is Sean going to win on Saturday night? Stop him in the first round. Stop him in the first round? Yeah. I'll hold you to that. I'll come back and find you. If he does it in the first round, I'm going to take all my bets from you. The, the pressure's on. <laughs> the pressure's on, the exactly. Pressure's on. Right, Sean, as always, thanks for the Spectral TV. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow at the weigh-in. Yes. Thanks, yeah. young man.